Hey Jason, it's dark outside. Oh. And you still hear wiring. Yeah, yeah. We'll How you getting on there? Most of junction. I'll go home because I lost my little wire. <laughs> How you getting on with those little tiny wires and your big gorilla hands? They perfectly suited for doing little tiny wiring jobs? Oh, perfect. Uh, they're just perfect. Excellent. It's actually looking pretty good. It doesn't look like you've got many plugs left to go. There's no plugs left to go. There's no plugs left to go. Sorry, it does seem a little bit of an Ah, that's excellent. Oh. oh, you thought I was further behind, didn't you? No, actually I have. I've been watching you screwing away. So we might actually make it make some noise with the loom on the engine anyway today, uh, today tomorrow. Yeah. I think we've got all the parts that we need. I think we've got our sensors. You've got to put a couple of plugs off the uh, factory loom onto it, and it'll plug in. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> that wasn't very polite telling me to go away with my camera. Is it lock? Yeah, good. I'll leave that in there so it can't. You reckon? You have your fat fingers. You reckon it's going to stay there? No, but I'll probably lock it again. Uh, so, uh, go on. See, maybe. Oh, that was a nice sound. That was a good sound. Oh, you did it! Hey, you know what? Normally when you get the camera on you, the whole job turns to custard and, and you don't want to do it. It, it just doesn't work. Oh, hear that noise? Oh, I think you nailed it. I think I'm doing it better than you can. Come on, wrong hole. Big part? There it is. We're waiting. You got cocky. Jason has just been taught how to pop the pins out of the factory ECU plugs on the Hilux. So they're, they're little buggers, little tiny buggers. So he's doing those. I actually think they might be the same as some three UZ ones, eh? Shall I get some three UZ ones and we have a look? The terminals are the same as three UZ. I got some terminals for some of the other body plugs and he's working the last few wires going into the ECU. Whilst it looks like there's a lot of wires, it's, it's not that bad. There is a battery on a chair. There's a man over there with a fuse box. He's going to power up his wiring loom. And test it before he gets the shrink wrapper out, or the heat gun out, and shrinks it. How confident are you that you've got your loom right? Find out in a minute. So we have some ECU plugs on it. Dun dun dun. We have a laptop. I smell like a cow. Oh yes, you smell like a cow. We've been doing some farm work. It is for a shearer, so he's used to farmers. He's used to sheep though. Yeah, this is a cow. Yes, well. Same, but different. Don't have to share cows. No. So Jason's just about ready to bang a program into that link. He'll have to unlock it. I'm probably going to have to get my other laptop going. So we can unlock it. And uh, we'll do some series of tests, like you do with any link setup. And check he's got power to the right places, and then he will make the engine run. It, it's a pity we didn't have the camera going when when you were doing your. <laughs> yeah. 
What, what did you learn? Apparently, you don't do the fuel test, but first, you get the test first. It, you do the, the, you do the, the spark test first, mm. then you put the fuel in. Because oh, there's, there's, resid, there's residual fuel in the fuel rails from when it was last running, and it puts enough in the cylinder to make it go whoosh, whoosh, <laughs> turn the engine over. Also, I've, I've had the nearly burnt leg because I was doing the injector test. And then I did the spark test, and it was like, woof, out the exhaust. Oh. Massive flame. Yes. Cool. Mass and I've had the massive flames out the throttle body. So I've learned the same way as you, oh, by doing it wrong. Oh, it's not necessarily wrong. Well, 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 well mine had to have fuel in it. Yeah, you're probably okay then. Yeah, well, I've... You're probably okay, but so this one, there's enough in the, in the fuel rails. Oh, shit, it's still bloody hot, eh? <laughs> What else did you learn today? Um, apparently I wired this call the wrong way around. Yes. Completely wrong, actually. <laughs> I think I had the plug upside down. <laughs> I split it I open. I managed to get everything wrong. 100%. 100% fucking failed. 100% backwards. It might have been late, late one night at the end of the day, I think, that mm. I got that one. I have it's still quite warm. It's it is. been 10, 15 minutes. Yep. <laughs> So, good. <laughs> so, so I came in from doing other jobs and I walk over to the engine and I'm like, Jace, what's, what's that smell? That, that burning smell? And he's, oh, I couldn't find that. <laughs> you know, I touched the coil and I just about fried my hands. So I had spares, so we're okay. <laughs> and apparently his thing is wiring <laughs> coils backwards. He's done it a few times now. You will think he would learn because I think it's a mistake the first time and after that it becomes a decision. You made a decision to wire my coil backwards. At least it didn't happen on the customer's one. Hey, at least we've got something to hold. Keep warm, what? <laughs> I was like... We've got air leak here anyway. There we go. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Goes, Jace. Mm. From from. It's interesting with those heaters on it. I'm so used to it. I had my earmuffs on, I couldn't really tell the difference. That's just normal. How hot does it need to be? Oh, you don't want it too hot. Because if you get it too hot, you scorch it. Yeah, probably out there, it's about, about my hit. That's about it. Yep. And you want to leave it on for a reasonable amount of time. You want to get a right around it. So, so, so Jason came in this morning and he asked uh, if there's any tricks to the, to the shrink wrap. No, you're going too fast. Turns out there's more than I thought actually, isn't there? Because I just said get the heat gun, put it on there and let it shrink. I actually do it on my... One of the reasons I do it on my bench is the bench gets hot as well. So you actually, I heat up my, my steel bench and it's reflecting off the bench. That's why you really need the deflector around the back of it. Nah. It'll, it'll be heaps better. Don't use your hand, it'll, it'll hurt. Yeah, funny that. <laughs> like, oh yeah. 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 And, and you want to make sure when you're doing it that the glue goes all the way off. So it's probably about half a day's worth of work there. <laughs> You'll be standing with a heat gun trying to wear out. Yes, but... I definitely find the bench works well because it, it reflects off the bench. The bench actually pops. You'll actually have the whole bench pop. Cool. Last time I saw you, you were on the bench. I was there. You were there. But, but now you're here. I'm here, yeah. And there's a wiring loom in it. Mm. You having fun there? No. And you've got your battery terminals? And do you think you need earths to the block? Got some now. Because sometimes we see cars without them. It's got, it's got one. Good. I might put another one on the other side maybe. Good idea. I've got enough cable flipped over from my start cable. Good. Yep. 
But that's positive cable. I'll put a black end on it. I'll make it negative. Right. Fresh. Oh, that's how you convert them. Yeah, yeah, right. Did you know that? No. No, you're doing this. It looks very good in there actually. <clears throat> you do have to pull that fuse box a bit yet, put bits yet to put your fans in there. Fan triggers. Mm, yeah I know. Just using my fan wires are still not cutting them. That wire. I think I've got terminals to go on the plug on the inside. So we can actually go into the proper plugs. Kind of need wires for them. That that random blue plug, I still don't know where it is, but we f I found the run the workshop. <laughs> it's not off my loan. It's not on mine. I reckon you'll, you'll need to go put it on your loan. You've gone to the office, put it down. No, I've got a grey one. I was bringing a grey one on my loan. And it's on, it's fitted. So this is going to pop under here and be mounted in this area here somewhere with the big thunder. Jason is still hammering along on this wiring. A lot of people don't realise how much is actually involved on wiring a vehicle like this to look as factory as it can be. While still having an aftermarket computer and making sure that everything actually functions the dash functions the taco water temp gauge the new fans will function correctly the pedal integrates with the ecu the diff control all works the gearbox reverse wiring and all that takes time often i see conversions that are done like this and the people get quoted a price and i'll miss out and then it comes to me to fix all the issues, like the dash not working, because people don't know how they work. And then it's a big go through, get it all correct and working like it should. And we need a tractor to go past right now, eh? Hey, where are you going? You're meant to be wiring. He does, my, my man does a runner. So he's, he's doing stuff in here. So at this point, he's taking the pedal wires from the, the accelerator pedal over there, which come through the car to, to the ECU, and he's taking those and he's pinning them up to go into the link. The link's been mounted just in here, um, on, the, on the bracket for the factory ECU, and there'll be some relays and fuses going in next to that as well. And that tucks away. It's easy to access through the glove box compartment. And it just all clips out, that it clips out. It's also got, uh, that's your, your diff four-wheel drive computer's gotta go back in. That doesn't, that's the, the turbo driver, that's not going back in. And that's the pedal assembly that's on the other side. I just happen to have spare ones for this sort of a job. So you can see the wiring loom, even its ray cam looks kind of factory as it tucks in, nice and neat. The map sensor will be mounted on the plenum. All the breathers are as they should be. And he's yet to do a couple of fan wires into here. Fan in this. This is like the spare wiring here that comes into the fuse box out here. So this is going to come apart and get modified. I think he has to do something with this, which was some aftermarket wiring that was put in previously, running something in the vehicle. I'm not exactly sure. Once the wiring's underway and sorted and it's running, that will leave the air conditioning, the air conditioning to do, and an exhaust. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. See this here? Yeah. This is a very special little pokey tool for 3UZ and Hilux uh, pin removals. Mm -hmm. And see the end there? See there's, this one's the, um, the invisible little pokey. That was Jason's, um, oh shit, I broke it. And I specifically said not to break it. It's going to be really hard for me to do three UZ looms next week when um, that's broken. 
And can you explain this? Why is there a JZ part and a UZ workshop? Uh, quality. Quality. I'll bring the JZ down <laughs> soon too. <laughs> we have rules. No JZ parts and a UZ swap. Well, there's a JZ out there, boy, guys. <laughs> I'll bring, the, I'll bring the whole JZ down. We're not doing a JZ channel. There's actually lots of guys after JZ info, eh? There is just so many. I think guys would be blown away if they actually saw what we were doing like 10 years ago, like with UZs and JZs. Because yeah. five, five years, beams, engines, out, JZs and all that sort of stuff. That was just normal for us. It was mm. like... And UZ, I was doing way more UZ stuff mm. over the years. And we only showed just a I, tiny portion of it. And what I did with the, my 3S as well. Oh, yeah, what you did with your 3S. Like, Fuck, I was pretty out the gate then. Yep, <laughs> absolutely. And now it's common because the cars are cheap. Mm. Right, back into the wiring. I might let you leave tonight. I'd like to hear it running. I want this one running. That one's over there, run. Not, not the computer, I want the, this engine. Oh. We've got to make sure we crank up oil pressure too, so. You've got the pressure sensor in. Because I don't think we've heard this one. Mm. We've actually got it fitted and we haven't run it, eh? Which is very unlike us. We normally fire them up on the bench, but. You're too slow. I was too slow wiring it. Then you had to wire it. Yeah. Yeah. And now you know what it's like to wire one of these. Multiple days later. And you're just still taking along, getting those last little bits done, but it's looking really good. And some prick keeps adding stuff to it. Oh, you put this in. Oh, you put this in. I know. Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Thanks. You'll remember for next time, because you've, you've got another one to wire after this one. Same vehicle, same wiring. Different no four-wheel drive. Different motor. There's a for the fuel pump wiring. Yeah. What's there? There's just a little connector right there. This one? There's, there's a little connector right. That one. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. Oh. So I just cut it off, put a terminal on it, and run a wire across to that. So it's interesting, eh? They put the wiring in for the diesel, in the diesel for the for a petrol pump. They knew this was going to happen. They knew we were going to convert it. Yeah, that's the cartoon wire. <laughs> yeah, so I just I run a wire along, in behind the heater there, yep. and connect into that. I've got to do the dash light too. The sedimenter light, the, the fuel quality light will come up after we've been driving it. Oh, because it has no fucking fuel quality. Yeah, Crosby did the, the dodgy and put the black tape on it, but I'll pull it apart. And I'll, on this one, I'll pull it apart and show you how to do it properly. It might be part of the wiring series I have on these, because I've got a proper, like, 10 episodes of wiring one of these. <laughs> <laughs> You're feeling that? You're feeling it's 10 episodes? That's why we've just done highlights. You've got to make a map sensor map bra bracket too, you day. Eh? Yeah. I was just going to let it hang like that. Just going to let it hang? Yeah. The gravity mounted? Probably not. It's, it's mounted by this wire mounted. Wire mounted. Oh, you steal my vacuum line. Yeah. 